Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, EarthquakePredictions.com and the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.54 in the evening in California on Monday, March 8, 2021. What a beautiful year. And uh, we're going straight to the forecast here. And <clears throat> we still have a residual amount of uh, risk to the northwest of Los Angeles, but we're now on this forecast, which is the 7th to the 8th, and still 4.0 to 5.0 is possible near the Salton Sea in the next 12 hours or so. And then tomorrow, the 8th into the 9th, this forecast uh, takes effect. Uh, small risk here uh, near uh, Salinas in Monterey, south of San Jose. That could produce a 3.5. And the 3.5 is possible out here in East Central California near uh, Mammoth Lakes or north of Ridgecrest on the 8th and the 9th. All right, let's go to the Alaska earthquake forecast. And this is uh, the, the day before. This is the forecast uh, for right now. And we've had a couple of quakes in this spot, but this is still uh, 5.0 is possible northwest of Kodiak Island and southwest of Anchorage in the next 12 hours or so. And Chile, Santiago, Chile forecast. This is the forecast right now. You can see north of Santiago and up near Copiapo, 85% risk. Let's look over the uh, quakes that have hit today. And you can see this quake northeast, north northeast of Santiago, Chile, is a 5.2, and that was right, right about here, this 85% risk area. Uh, so that uh, worked out okay. This is uh, tomorrow's forecast, actually eighth into the ninth today and tomorrow. Looks like the risk is building up here at 5.5 as possible, uh, northeast of Antofagasta in the far northern reaches of Chile. 5.5 is possible up there. And Italy's forecast, still that risk in far northern Italy for the next 12 hours or so, northeast of Bologna. Uh, that could produce a 5.0. And then the risk shifts uh, tomorrow to uh, near Sicily, at Palermo, and the 4.5 to 5.0 is possible offshore northern Sicily. And uh, might actually, a lot of times the earthquakes are associated and uh, happen at the same time as a volcanic eruption. So this uh, Mount Etna uh, could be activated with this risk tomorrow as well. So uh, 4.5 to 4.5.0 is possible north of Palermo on the night. Over in Japan, <clears throat> uh, Japan's earthquake forecast. This risk across the north produced uh, a couple of quakes. Let's go over there real quick. And you can see uh, we had talked about Akita and Iwate. Well, here's a quake uh, 4.6 is west of Akita in this area here in the 80% risk area. And this quake here. 4.9, uh, Northeast Sendai right in here. <clears throat> so pretty close. This one was over here, very close. And this one is the uh, close as well. Excuse me, now the risk is uh, shifting down near Hiroshima during the next uh, 48 hours or so. And you can see this risk, Hiroshima, Okayama, Matsue, Fukuoka. That is where the risk is centered now in the next uh, 48 hours. And here's another forecast further out. Still the same thing, 85% risk in Hiroshima, Okayama. And then it starts extending over to, to uh, Tokyo, west of Tokyo, getting near Shizuoka, north of Shizuoka. So a 4.0, and maybe even a 5.0 is possible in this area in Hiroshima, Okayama. And extending up to uh, north of Osaka, Kyoto area. During the next, uh, 24 to 48 hours. All right, let's go to Greece. 
forecast and risk is building in northwest of Athens for the next 12 hours. And then um, during the next 36 to 48 hours north of Athens, we can get a 5.0 earthquake north of Athens. And during the next 12 hours, we could get something 4.5 or so, maybe even a five, northwest of Athens and southwest of Larissa, uh, right there in Western Greece. And um, during the next 36 hours, the risk uh, is building north of Athens, Greece, uh, during the next 36 hours. Over in Puerto Rico, you see this risk northeast of Puerto Rico. And let me just check real quick here. I believe, yes, we got a 4.8 earthquake right there, northeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. And that is right about here, right in that 95% risk area. Then the risk shifts to. You can see here it shifts to uh, Haiti, or Haiti, 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 uh, Port au Prince is right here. And there could be a 4.5, 5.0 earthquake in Haiti on the, uh, during the next 24 to 36 hours. So watch for that. Looks like we uh, already got the quake that was up here in this high risk area. Now during the next 24 hours to 36 hours, 48 hours, uh, Port au Prince, west of Port au Prince, and Haiti could get a, an earthquake, uh, 4.5, 5.0 is possible there. So keep on lookout if you live uh, in Haiti. All right, let's go back to Los Angeles. We didn't get to all of the forecast maps today. So again, uh, residual amount northwest of LA, looks like the uh, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible with the salt sea during the next 12 hours, and then tomorrow. Uh, 3.5 is possible south of San Jose or out in East Central California near uh, Mammoth Lakes, California. All right. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Your quick prediction by found the Earthquake Forecast Center. We will uh, be updating again tomorrow night. We'll try to get to all the different countries. It's a lot of work to do every day, but uh, we'll try to get to uh, Turkey and New Zealand, all these Indonesia, some of the ones we missed today. But we still have some uh, forecast maps out there. We'd like to update those uh, every day, though. So we'll try to get to those tomorrow. And uh, have a great uh, week. Today is Monday, so have a nice week. We'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, on March 9th. So have a good night, and thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and uh, hit the notifications. We really appreciate it. And we're constantly expanding here at QuakePrediction.com with Quake Forecast Center. Thank you very much. And we will talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you so much.